Video number four is going to focus on actually putting photos into iMovie. Say, for instance, the project that you are working with pertains to, and you want to use actual photos that you took to put into iMovie to show your students uh, maybe a, a trip that you took. Uh, maybe you went to, for me, I teach ancient Egypt. Maybe somebody went to Egypt, took photos of the pyramids, and you want to actually use those photos. Uh, so this is how you can actually take actual photos and put them in to iMovie to use for a slideshow. Now when you take digital images, and uh, there's, there's a cord, uh, USB cord from your camera plugs into your computer and those will automatically get uploaded into iPhoto. So they will already be in iPhoto. So if I'm looking to use images, I need to go into iMovie and again click the camera to the right side, my photos browser. Now I don't necessarily have any photos that pertain to Achilles, but just so I can show you how this works, I'm going to create a new project very quickly. And I'm going to say for this new project, I'm going to call it Pittsburgh because my family and I, we recently, and I'll choose a different one, different theme so you can see what that looks like. My family and I recently uh, took a trip where we floated around on the rivers on a boat in the downtown Pittsburgh. So uh, let's say this is my project. And so I will click my photos browser. I'll go down to events. And then I just have to go down through all of my photos in iPhoto until I can find our trip. And here are all the photos that I took while we were on our trip downtown. So you can choose and pick and select uh, any of the photos that you may have. And so I'll just select these six photos for now. And I'll drag and drop those right into the project and very easily, uh, this is one of the nice things about Mac is all of their applications sync with one another. And so uh, you can see that I've dropped right in uh, all of my images that I selected to put into this particular project. Another thing that you'll notice is since I chose a different theme, it's already adding in these extra boxes in here. Those are transitions. And so some of the themes will automatically have uh, their own transitions. And another thing that I didn't mention in the previous video is if you ever want to preview what you have, notice up here on the left there is a, a, a red bar moving across each picture. If I hit the space bar, it will play, and you can see the preview window, it will actually play through the photo so you can see exactly what your slideshow looks like. So at any point, if you want to fix something, you can. All I have to do is hit the space bar, it'll stop where it is, hit the space bar again, and it continues on through your slideshow. So if at any point you want to preview what you're doing, this would be the way to do it, just hitting the space bar, and that red bar will move through your slideshow, and it'll show you exactly what, apparently they misspelled my name, uh, it'll show you exactly what you've got. So uh, again, very cool, uh, very nice and easy way. Using photos is very simple. The web images, you know we had to kind of take a little detour, but uh, this is an easy way to plug your photos right in so you can continue with your iMovie. And if you want to do a mix of web images and photos, you can obviously do that as well uh, using the methods we did in the last video with the method we did here, and you could actually combine those as well.